nā koutou ngā tamariki o te motu, ko ngā ringi tōku ingoa no tū hoi. Ke ko nei tātou, kei te whare kararehe o tāmaki makaurau, ki te mātai, ki te hōpara, ki te tuhura hoki i ngā momo kararehe miharo oroto. Kā ko hoki ki a tātou e tahi meka, hāre kareka, hira hira, ueri ueri hoki. I tēnei rangi, ka tuhura tia e tātou tētahi tū momo pepeke motuhake no Aotearoa. He tua ngā ngara kai tā e noho ana ki te whenua. Tēnā, tirohi a tēnei mo te tūpono kei te mōhio koe. Ka tākiri mai ngā mōkehu i ngā huru o ngā mere motuhake o Aotearoa. Ka puta mai te weriweri me o ngā waiwai e ono i te pō. Kia ngata te hiahia mā te kai ota ota motuhake. Kia tipu wai o rātau tinana. I mau rā nei a koe te tūmomo ka tirohia e tātou i te rangi nei. Tika tonu, ai, ko tā tātou ue tāpunga. Ko ia tā tātou kararehe pakeke katoa no Aotearoa. Tuatahi ake, me haereau ki te rapu i ngā kai arahi o te whare kararehe nei. I mōhio rā nei koe kwa ko tahirau iwa te kau meri o ngā tau ngā ue tāpunga i tēnei ao, i mua noa atu i ngā moko nui. Kaore te ue tāpunga e kitea ki tētahi atu wahi i te ao. Aha kwa ko ia te piharenga nui katoa o te ao, kāre e tāe ia te peke, te rere rā nei. He tau maharawa. Kia ora whānau, here we are in Te Wānui Atane and I'm joined by our two zoo educators to teach us all about the giant we tāpunga. Kia ora, ko Sterling toko ingoa, no here tau ngā hau. Tēnā kauta katoa, ko hohe po toku ingoa, no te tai rāwhiti a hau. He kāo ko māua ko Sterling, mo te whare kararehe o tāmiki makaurau. Tēnā korua, so what can you tell us about the we tāpunga and its name? So Aotearoa has 11 different species of giant weta and the wetapunga is the biggest and the heaviest. Yeah, wetapunga also gets its name from Punga, the god of ugly things. In some stories, he is a descendant from Punga. Females, like this one here, are larger than males and can weigh up to 35 grams. And the largest ever recorded weighed up to 71 grams, when she was full of eggs. That's heavier than a house sparrow. Wow, so what role do they play in our native ecosystems? So Wetapunga produce the largest size poo pellet of any insect in the world. Their poo is full of nutrients and plays a vital role in their forest ecosystem, germinating, fertilising and dispersing plant seeds to help grow the forest. Whoa. So what can you tell us about their habitat? Well, Wetapunga were found all across Northland, across Auckland and Great Barrier Island. But unfortunately, due to mammalian predators introduced by humans, they only survived on Little Barrier Island or Hotoru or Toi. However, Auckland Zoo has been working very hard to help with these numbers as part of our breeding program. So is there anything I can do to help with their survival? Absolutely. We're going to take you to the breeding rooms and show you where it's all done. Cool. I mōhio rā nei koe ka pāo ana te wē tāpunga ka ora ia mo te toru tau. Hā ai te wē tāpunga ma ngā kōhau o tōna a ngā waho. Āpiti atu ki tērā, pēnei ngā piharainga ko ngā kiriuhi o ngā taringa ke ngā waiwai o mua. Well, nā rangi, here we are at the Wē Tāpunga Breeding Program at Auckland Zoo. I'd like to introduce you to Don, who is our expert. Kia ora, welcome. Lovely to meet you, Don. Lovely to meet you too. Arawe, Don. Now, what do we have here in front of us? Yes, it's uh, not that pretty, but it's important. Um, a very dirty lidded uh, box here, and inside we have egg fields. Now, our adult wetter females lay their eggs into, these, into this soil, and we'd expect to have hundreds of eggs under the surface somewhere. And then a few months later, we expect to see baby wetter ping out like popcorn. Not one at a time but large numbers. So Don, how are we helping the Wetapunga today? So surrounding us are um, what we call Halia habitats, where we raise our wetter to be big and strong for release back to the wild. Okay, so here we have a nude or naked <laughs> enclosure. We've got to make it cosier for Wetapunga. So we're gonna turn it into a tower and we're gonna uh, pull the edges of this together with cable tie. You can snip the ends, stuff this full of fern fronds. So we're just gonna smash and bash them into this fern tower. And what we'll do is we'll fill that with hose pipe, somewhere for them to snug into. So we'll put around 20 of those in later. And then one of the other key ingredients to this enclosure to make it really habitable, of course, is their food. 
So once all of this is done, what happens next for the weta? So we need to decide as a zoo, at what stage do we want to release all our wetapunga back to the wild? What, what do we, when do we need to decide they're going to have the best chance of surviving? By just holding off a few more months, they're a bit bigger, a bit stronger, they can fend off most of their, their predators, so we give them the fighting chance. Cool, so Don, since yes. the beginning of the programme, how many have we released out into the wild? We actually know that um, it's in excess of 5,000. I think the wow. 5,700, and that's on to five islands into the Haraki Gulf, so cool. hopefully there are many more thousands to come. After building all these Wetapunga homes, I think I'm ready to hear some homegrown music. Makarongo mai. After learning about this amazing insect, I am blown away at the huge part they play in our ecosystem. My favourite part was probably learning that the boys are smaller than the girls. Woo! Oh, kia ora ngā rangi. We're so happy to share this knowledge with you and you too. Kia ora. Kia ora tātou katoa. Ka kite anō.